Contrary to popular Western beliefs, the consumption of dog meat is not common in China and other Asian countries. Instead, the consumption of dog was typically more of a holistic remedy that is scarcely practiced in modern society. However, there is currently a rapidly growing market for dog meat. It has become a highly profitable and unregulated market in China. Dog meat, though not illegal in China, has become a criminal enterprise, similar to that of illegal street drugs. This is due to the fact that the high majority of dog meat in China is sourced from stolen pets and captured strays. The meat is therefore very lucrative and held to no standards. Consequently, the expansion of the dog meat market in China should be halted. The issues with China's dog meat market begin with where the dogs come from. There are no official or licensed slaughterhouses for dogs in China. This means that China's dog meat industry operates as a black market. The vast majority of the dogs within the trade are pets stolen from villages throughout China. All of the dogs are either stolen or captured strays, thus creating a criminal aspect of the industry from the very beginning of the process. Another significant issue with China's dog meat industry is that there are no governmental regulations. This means that the meat is held to no standards and can be very unhealthy to consume. The dogs are captured by independent hunters who commonly acquire them through use of poison darts. These poison darts undoubtedly compromise the meat. However, the buyers have no way of telling how the dogs were captured. Additionally, the majority of the dogs are kept and transported to Yulin home to the heart of the dog meat market in small and tightly packed cages. This allows for disease to easily travel between the dogs, therefore compromising the meat. There is consequently a health risk for any human who consumes the meat of these dogs. However, many advocates for the dog meat industry argue that eating dog is no different from eating any other animal. Many of these Chinese advocates also argue that it is unrealistic to worry about the rights of animals when even the rights of humans are not always protected in China. These arguments, as valid as they may be, in no way justify the dog meat market. It has become a criminal enterprise based on the theft of the pets of the Chinese people. The process also puts the health of those who consume the dogs at risk since no regulations are in place to prevent the consumption of compromised meat. For these reasons, the expansion of the dog meat market in China should be stopped immediately.